But my name is Rona Lightfoot. My name before I got married was MacDonald. I come from the island of South Houston in the Outer Hebrides and um, I got married and and uh, I got the name Lightfoot so everybody knows my name was Rona Lightfoot. My parents, uh, my father played the pipes. All, all his brothers, he had five brothers, and they all played the pipes. Um, my, my mother uh, left a, a rich uh, library of songs to the School of Scottish Studies. And uh, my grandmother, she, she had a rich traditional uh, stories and songs and very old stuff. And um, cousins and all sorts of people. Everybody around me, really, when I was growing up, um, had the tradition and the music. Kandrak is the, the, the way to teach the pupil um, a tune without the, you know, in the absence of manuscript in the old days. Like during the war, when I was brought up, um, it was very little you could do about sending away to Glasgow or whatever to get a uh, pipe music. The, that was the last thing on people's minds. But uh, the local pipers taught me many tunes. My, my grandpa, my uncle, my father, people like that uh, taught me by word of mouth rather than having the thing written out for you. That's the manuscript. That's really what it is. It's a traditional way of parting company with your tune to your pupil. You competed, first woman to compete in the Blue Banner Peeper competition. Y- that yes, right? that, that was another saga. Um, I, I entered uh, the competition because uh, you had to win so many things before you got to, to go and play in it. And I achieved this position. But when I entered for it, um, I got no word, and the other pipers were telling me, uh, did you hear from London? And I said, no, oh, we've all heard from London that, uh, you know, the, the, your number for going to compete, they, uh, I think there were 22 pipers or something, and, and so you better phone, maybe they missed you. So I phoned, and I, it was quite a long time before... Um, a lady eventually came to speak to me and she said she was very sorry uh, that I couldn't compete because of my gender. And uh, the funny thing was you had to send, I think it was the equivalent of about £3.50 to enter a fee. They never sent that back. <laughs> they took my fee but they never paid it back. However, after much uh, correspondence, and uh, quoting the Sex Discrimination Act and so on, uh, they changed the constitution and women are allowed to play if they achieve the standard to get there. Uh, it's, it's quite odd that men who were so keen on the Highland bagpipe, they didn't want women to have anything to do with it at all. It was, uh, it was a man's instrument. And to me, it's a musical instrument. It's, doesn't belong to any uh, particular crowd of human beings. It belongs to everybody, surely. And uh, I must say that the professional pipers that I met, the, the good pipers, they were always very, very nice to me. The ones that feared that women were going to come out of cracks in the wall and come in holes from all over the world. The mediocre pipers, these are the ones that gave me a bad time and some of them gave me not a very nice time at all, but I shan't name them because some of them aren't there anymore. There's nothing holding back the girls now and it's it's very nice to see and I'm delighted so, so many of them are doing so well. Uh, working here is Andrea Boyd, she's one of the stars of the day and, and of course there's Faye Henderson who won the 
the gold medal. Mary, Mary and Patricia Henderson's daughter, she won the gold medal last year at the Ergalter Gathering. That's a terrific achievement. So, they're getting there. Not only is the city of Glasgow alive with piping, they're coming from all over the world and you see all sorts of different types of, of pipes being played and uh, it's doing a tremendous amount of piping. It's, I look forward to it every year and uh, I think I'll be coming here for as long as I live if I'm able to.